Guest cycle. Guest cycle consists of four phases. 1. Inquiry and reservation. 2. Arrival and registration. 3. Stay in the hotel. 4. Departure, check out, and settlement, and post, or, after departure. What is a cycle? Cycle, a series of events, that are regularly repeated, in the same order. Guest cycle. Every hotel guest, has almost the same steps of interaction, with hotel. In fact, all activities around us are cyclic in nature. Day and night, four seasons, weeks, months etc. Guest cycle helps to understand, the overall workflow in a hotel. Cycle is also an indicator, that the work is routine, repetitive, and skill-based. The interactions have two aspects, service and financial. The guest cycle. Pre-arrival. Pre means, before, so, pre-arrival is the stage, before guest actually comes to the hotel. Inquiry by the guest, and reservation confirmation by the hotel, are the two most important activities here. Knowledge of availability of rooms, types of rooms, rates, features, services, and local knowledge, are a must, to handle this process, efficiently. The guest's choice can be affected, by many factors. Previous experiences with a hotel, advertisements and promotion of hotel, recommendations from travel agents, friends, or business associates, the hotel's location, or reputation, and preconceptions, based upon the hotel's name, or chain affiliation, ease of making reservations, how the reservations agent describes the hotel, and its facilities, room rates, amenities, the attitude, efficiency, and knowledge of the front office staff, may affect a caller's decision, to stay at a particular hotel or not. Interaction between a guest, and a hotel, before the guest arrives. Reservation is an essential activity, in this stage. This phase includes, selection of hotel by guest. Contacting the selected hotel, by guest. Receiving of reservation request by staff. Confirming, or denying a reservation by staff. Noting of any special arrangement, on arrival, such as wheelchair, airport transfer, extra bed etc. Accepting any advance deposit, and opening a guest account. Examples of some special requests, by guests. Arrival this stage includes, the following activities, a. Registration function, a mandatory, legal process for all visitors to hotel, Indian and foreign, paying or non-paying, b. Rooming function, a procedure to allot, a correct type of room, according to guest needs, and budget. c. Opening an account, for recording charges, and payments.
Arrival. Reception and welcome of guest. Registration of guest, with identity proof, for all guests. Room rate confirmation, and room allotment to the guest. Handing over the room key, and key card to the guest. Luggage assistance to the guest, by bell desk. Delivering the mail, and messages, that the hotel may have had received, on behalf of the guest. Arrival process, includes registration of all guests. A VIP welcome. Arrival is the first time, a guest comes in contact with the hotel staff. The first impression may be the last impression. Guest luggage handling, without delay, and damages, is an important aspect of arrival process. The front desk agent should determine the guest's reservation status, before beginning the registration process. Guests with reservation, may have already undergone pre-registration activities, meaning that the form may already have been filled, and room allotted in advance. Guests without reservations, or walk-in guests, present an opportunity for front desk agents, to sell guest rooms, at rack rate. To sell successfully, the front desk agents, must be very familiar with the hotel's room types, features, USP and guest services, and also, be able to describe those in a pleasing way. A guest will not register, if he or she is not convinced, of the value of renting, a particular hotel room. Registration Begins, when the front desk agent extends, a cheerful, and sincere welcome, to the guest. The procedure, by which an incoming guest reconfirms, his or her wish to stay, at a property, by completing, and signing, a registration card. A signature is the proof, of accepting responsibility. To a great degree, registration depends on, the information contained in a reservation record. Stage 3, Stay in Hotel The focus of day-to-day -day front office activities, where the front desk is responsible, for coordinating guest services, and resolving guest complaints. major front office objective, throughout the guest cycle, is to encourage repeat visits. Strong guest relations are needed, to achieve this objective. Guest relations depend on clear, constructive communications, between the front office, other hotel departments, and the guest. Security, is another primary front office concern, during occupancy. The chapter on security, will be covered in second year. Stay in hotel. Here, the guest gets a first-hand information, about the facilities, and services, offered by a hotel. Functions include, creation and maintenance of guest accounts. Accepting mail of guests, and delivering the same to them. Handling guest queries, and complaints. Providing travel assistance, and make arrangements. Various guest services. Handling guest mail. Message handling. Custody and control of keys. Guest paging. Safe deposit locker. Guest room change. Left luggage handling. Wake up call. Guest complaints. Departure. At this phase, the guest departs from the hotel. Functions are, preparation and presentation of bill. Settlement of guest accounts. Luggage handling by bell desk. Left luggage handling. Sales and marketing activity. 
giving a warm farewell, at the point of departure. Front Office Accounting, Introduction A front office accounting system, records the transactions, of guests, and businesses, agencies, and city guests, using the hotel's services, and facilities. The guest room charge, is the largest single entry, on the guest account. Additional expenses, can be charged to a guest's account, if he or she shows, an acceptable credit card at the front desk, on arrival. Front desk accounting records, must be checked every day, for accuracy and completeness. This need is met, through the night audit procedure. Although the name implies, that this process takes place in the night, this is not always the case. In hotels with computerized front office accounting system, the audit can be conducted at any time, during the day. Some computerized properties, call the audit, the day end process, or system update. An effective guest accounting system, consists of tasks, performed during each stage of the guest cycle. In brief, a front office accounting system creates and maintains accurate accounting folio for each guest or non-resident guest, tracks financial transactions throughout the guest cycle, ensures internal control over cash and credit transactions, records final payment and settlement for all goods and services provided. Guest accounting cycle Create account. Maintain account. Settle account. At checkout, the guest vacates the room, receives an accurate statement of account for settlement, returns the room keys, and departs from the hotel. Once the guest has checked out, the front office updates the room's availability status and notifies the housekeeping department. During the checkout, the front office determines whether the guest was satisfied with the stay, feedback form, and encourages the guest, to return to the hotel, or book room, in another property, in the chain. At departure, the key must return, to the hotel front office. Promotional brochures, may also be given out, to help guests make future reservations. The last step of guest accounting, is settlement of the guest's account. The purpose of account settlement is, to collect money, owed to the hotel. Depending on the guest's credit arrangements, the guest will pay cash, sign a credit card voucher, or verify, direct billing instructions. Account balances should be verified, and errors corrected, before the guest leaves the hotel. Problems may occur, in guest account settlement, when charges are not posted, to the guest's account, until after, the guest checks out. These charges are called, late charges. Credit card settlement, is the preferred method of hotels. Settling accounts, for departed guests, is generally handled by the accounting department, not the front office. However, the front office is responsible, for providing complete, and accurate billing information, to assist the back office accounting division in these efforts. Once the guest has checked out, the front office can analyze data related to the guest's stay. Front office reports can be used to review operations, isolate problem areas where corrective action may be needed, and observe business trends. Operation analysis can help managers establish a standard of performance which can be used to judge, the success of front office employees, and operations. Thank you.